Live from Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE. Covering Grace Hopper's Celebration of Women in Computing. Brought to you by SiliconANGLE Media. Welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of the Grace Hopper Conference here in Orlando, Florida. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. We are joined by Vipul Nagrath. He is the global CIO at ADP, a provider of human resources management software in, in New York. Welcome, so, welcome, Vipul. Thank you. It's great Thank, to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. So before the cameras are rolling, you were talking about how this is your first ever Grace Hopper. How do you find things? Oh, I think this is exciting. I mean, uh, just the sheer numbers, 18,000 attendees, uh, all the various different companies that are represented over here, the talent. Um, I'm here with, 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 a, with a sizable team, there's about 30 of us, and um, many of my, my colleagues have been walking the floor and they've been just thoroughly impressed with the talent that they're meeting and the people that they're talking to. Uh, we're here actively recruiting. Um, we've actually been doing on-site interviews. Um, so, you know, we're, we're looking for top talent and if we can find it right here at the show, we'll do it. So there are a lot of tech conferences that you attend, but what is it about Grace Hopper in particular? So, well, this one specifically, it, uh, one of our initiatives is around diversity and inclusion. Uh, and so what better place to come than, than Grace Hopper if you want to talk about diversity and inclusion. Um, and, and in addition to that, as we were talking earlier, right, the, um, the marketplace that, that engineering and tech and, and computer science is going to go into, the need is actually only increasing. Um, everything is run by software today, or very shortly will be, right? In the end, every company is becoming a software company and offering some, some other services with it. And um, we're all headed that way. Uh, yet the talent pool is actually getting tighter and, and smaller, uh, yet more jobs are going to be created in that industry. So I think it's an, a phenomenal and wonderful opportunity um, and specifically from, from a Grace Hopper perspective and the Anita Borg perspective is get more women involved in this. I, the pie is going to get bigger uh, and I think women have an opportunity to gain more of that share of that pie. So is ADP doing anything to actively engage more women earlier in their, in their career trajectories to get them interested in this area? We, there, there are a number of, of, of multiple, sorry, there's a multiple uh, uh, set of initiatives that we have. And in fact, I'm, I was joined here at this conference uh, with our uh, chief diversity officer. Uh, she's also responsible for, for, for corporate uh, uh, social responsibility. Um, so diversity and inclusion uh, is really huge for her, not just for us ADP, but she, has, she has, actually has a larger message for the entire industry. Uh, so she's pushing that agenda. So there are actually many different things that we're working on. And as a human resources company, and, and that message human resources, can, exactly. can get through. So talk to me, I mean, we, are, we always hear about the business case for diversity and inclusion. How do you view it? How, how do I view it is, look, I start with, with, again, top talent, and then it's thought diversity. Um, it, when, you, when you bring multiple disciplines in together, bring people with multiple backgrounds in together, even a different point of view, you realize, um, or I, I, I think uh, you open up and, and realize that you might have had some blinders on some things. And now you start really getting rid of those blinders. Uh, and instead of them being blinders, they turn into opportunities. Uh, and I think if you have too many people thinking exactly the same way, doing exactly the same thing, you, you, you fall into a not so good method, right? And you fall into a not so good idea of just really channeling the same idea over and over and the over group again. Think that, the group that, think that is a big exactly. problem in so many companies. So how do diverse teams work together in your experience? I mean, you talked about, about seeing wider perspectives and different kinds of ideas and insights that you wouldn't necessarily get if it's just mm -hmm. a bunch of similar people from similar backgrounds, similar races, mm -hmm. it's all one gender sitting in a room together. How, how do you, how do these teams work together in your experience? Well, what I believe in is you got to put these teams together uh, and you got to empower them. Uh, absolutely, there's a stated goal. There is an outcome, there's a result we have to achieve. Give them the outcome, give them the goal, give them a loose framework, and then give them guiding principles. And then after that, team, go ahead. You're empowered to, to, to do the right thing, right? Um, but these goals will be aggressive, right? That we may want to make something two orders of magnitude faster, right? That's, not, that's no small task. Uh, we, we may want to you know, uh, ex expand uh, our, our capabilities so that we can handle six times load that we handle today, right? That's no small task. So they're, they're very large goals to achieve, 
but they just have to go out and, and, and do them. And if you leave that creativity to the team, uh, and you let everyone bring in with their different viewpoints, some that have expertise today, and some that don't necessarily have expertise in it, but they're really good programmers, or they're really good software developers, so they can learn from those folks that have the expertise, and then develop a new solution that's more powerful than the one that exists today. What are some of the most exciting things you're working on at ADP right now? Uh, well, me personally, we're, we're going through a, a, a huge transformation uh, in my group within ADP, um, and, and that transformation is really, really just implementing more of what I just talked about, is these, these small, nimble teams um, that are multidisciplinary, and they're given, again, guiding principles and goals, and they go out and be, and be creative and be innovative and, and figure out how to do this. So what should customers expect on the pipeline though in terms of products coming out of ADP and, and helping them manage their human capital? Sure, well actually we, we, we have a lot of exciting new and innovative products coming out of our company, uh, which in, in the coming months and the coming years will be released and, and uh, put into production. Um, but basically you, you should expect a, a better way to work, right? A, a, um, because that is our job. We're really out there to make work better. Um, and and, and in, more inclusive and too? More, and of course more, more. Okay. well, that's just, all those, all those things actually just go into being and making work better, right? Um, inclusion is in there, diversity is in there, uh, creativity yeah. is in there, innovation is in there, uh, stability is in there, you know, but all of that makes work better. And is there more pressure on a company like ADP to walk the walk because you are a human capital management company. That is, that is your bread and butter. Well, I, I believe there is, for <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, just naturally, yes, there is. So what is your advice to companies out there? And I know you said your chief diversity officer had a wider message to companies about the importance of diversity and inclusive teams. What, what would you say from your perspective as CIO? Uh, from my perspective, again, it's, um, I do believe that, that diversity, that inclusion, makes for a more powerful team makes for a wider understanding of what we're actually trying to, uh, trying to do. Um, so I would just encourage others to, to do that too uh, and not be, not be very narrow-minded. Narrow Great, well Vipul, it's been so much fun talking to you. Thanks Thank for you. coming on theCUBE. Thank you. We will have more from the Orange County Convention Center, Grace Hopper, just after this.